uh, axis 10 and a half foot and 12 foot. What this boat is designed for is all the people that, when asked where they want to paddle, they say, I want to do inland rivers and I want to do lakes and, and maybe some surf. What kind of boat's going to help me do all those things? It's really hard to have a boat that does both those things because the boat that can handle rivers and rapids and surf, you need lift in the front of the boat and you need volume. Lift and trap air so you don't get down into the water. You stay above it. Well, those things that help you in the rapids and the, on, on, on the surf hurt you when you're paddling flat water because on flat water that lift and volume catches the wind and you can't track and go straight as well. Uh, also, less of a keel, which helps you turn quickly in the rapids, makes it harder to track straight on the lakes. So then you add a skeg system. So when you want to paddle the lakes in the flat water, you drop the skeg in the back. You have all the leverage in the back of the boat. So even though it doesn't look like that drops too much, uh, like feathers on an arrow, you don't need much when you have that much leverage. And it'll help you go straight on the lakes in the flat water. Um, you have the leg lifters here on the seat, which helps spread your weight out on the seat so you don't have a pressure point in two places. And you have the option then of adding, as you grow with the boat, if you, if you get the boat as a beginner, and as you get better in the rapids or in the surf, and you want more control of the boat with your body, you can then add thigh braces, and the holes are already marked here on the boat, so you don't have to re-drill holes. You can just put them in, and you're ready to go.